What's up, Mopar fam? So we just made it over here to my buddy's shop. And, uh, oh, sorry about the dogs barking over here. But we're going to check out some 6.4 Hemis on some uh, big trucks over here that actually has had a bunch of failures that he's worked on. That's his personal truck. And that truck is tuned by Jay and has a Jay Green cam in it. And, uh, hell yeah, here we go. We're about to check them out. So he has had a rash of these things come in lately to his shop and it is crazy a lot of people's been asking me questions about how the 6.4 hemis have been holding up in the 25 and the 3500 trucks well we're gonna find out you know there's not too many issues with them but there's definitely some problems so all right guys so what we have here is a 2016 ram 3500 with the 64 hemi this is a landscape truck and this particular guy owns very many of these 64 hemis in the 2500 trucks and the 3500 trucks and my buddy over here he runs a shop over here by his house and as you can tell what we're probably about to talk about and i hate talking about this subject because it scares everybody and it definitely sucks well guess what they have the same problems as the 5.7 and all the other hemis um, a lot of these things are new a lot of people haven't put a lot of mileage on them yet but this is his fifth or sixth truck within the last two months okay and that's that's pretty bad they're coming in back to back so this particular truck has 132,000 miles on it and some of the other ones that he has had seems to range between 100 to 140,000 miles is when he's seeing the 6.4 lifters and cam fail just like the other hemis like the 5.7 so this one here let's show you the lifters this one just like many of the other hemis failed the number five lifter try to zoom in on it here so i don't know if you can see there you go so you can see according compared to the other two on the left and the right it has locked up that middle lifter which was number five cylinder and the lifter bearing locked up seized up and it started beating the cam and flattened out as you can see per this one and the left one are intact and good none of the other lifters failed it was just the one lifter and that's usually what happens when you have a cam lifter failure you get one lifter locks up and then it beats the cam so here's the camshaft and all the lobes look good except for the one obviously that had the failed lifter which is this one right here i'm pointing at and you can see the razor edges compared to the other lobes and it has ground ground it down pretty bad and you can tell that it ate it up pretty bad so there you go this one right here is the one that failed uh well not the camshaft's fault but the lifter's fault but anyway lifter locked up and it ate this lobe down and it has cut it down and grooved it pretty bad that's what they're supposed to look like right here not like this one so what happened is this truck experienced a low power symptom and got a misfire code and started ticking and tapping and that was the dilly the lifter and cam failure just like all the other hemis so there you go i hope that answers a few questions i've been getting um you know with my camshaft failure on frostbite a lot of people has asked me that owns the 64 hemis was wondering if they would have or have the same problems or symptoms as some of the five sevens with the lifter and cam issue and i really didn't have any answers for them as a 64 that came out in the bigger trucks relatively new you know a lot of people hasn't piled a bunch of mileage on them or anything yet and there hasn't been a lot of video footage of them um, with particular failures yet anyway like i said this truck um 
is one of many that my buddy's already had to put a cam and lifters in. This is like, like I said, the fifth or sixth truck now within about a month or two that has had the same exact failure on this particular guy's vehicles. <clears throat> now, the install repair process is pretty much identical to doing a 5.7 Hemi. It's pretty straightforward. It'd be the same process. You know, yes, it sucks. Yes, you know, the parts can add up. Lifter, a set of lifters are going to cost you 500 bucks. A stock camshaft is going to be, give or take where you get it, you might, you might find one between three to 500 bucks if you go back factory. Um, and then you got to do head gaskets. You got to do all your other gaskets, time and cover gaskets and fluids and all that stuff. So it does get a little expensive. Um, if you go back stock, you can, you know, probably expect, you know, maybe between 12, about $1,200 or so in parts. Um, we'll actually ask my buddy that in a minute, exactly uh, what the parts cost is to go back factory. This truck's going back completely stock. It's gonna go back with factory um, MDS lifters and everything, stock cam, everything. So I'm gonna ask him what it takes money-wise and parts and what he typically charges. Um, if you're in Georgia and you have a problem with a cam lifter failure, he will hook you up. He is much, much cheaper than going to a dealership or an actual, you know, repair shop down the street. He's very good. He knows exactly what he's doing. He's done many of these on the Hemis and he will hook you up. What's up guys? Quick little break here to try out something new. Super Clean hooked us up with some degreasers for the shop and for Frostbite. And we're currently working on my buddy's truck over here. Some of you guys already seen the truck on the channel. And it's a four x four truck and he's not the biggest person on keeping stuff clean and just drives the crap out of his truck. And that's fine, it's a truck, right? So we're gonna try it out on his truck because he's got some really dirty wheels. And this is the new aerosol cleaner degreaser. So we're gonna spray it right on the wheel and then we're gonna hit it with a pressure washer and see if this wheel will come clean without us physically having to scrub it by hand. So here we go. Let's see what happens here. I like the way it sprays out. That's cool. All right. Foam's up pretty good. I have to say, I like the way that it sprays out. It sprays out really good. It coats everything pretty good. And I can see all the grease and grime is breaking down already. So I have a feeling this wheel is going to come pretty clean. We're going to grab the pressure washer and see what happens. I'll tell you right now that wheel came phenomenally clean considering how dirty that tire and wheel was it looks almost like new um, that I have to say so far is probably my favorite sprayed on super quick and works really fast spray it on grab the pressure washer the hose and blast it off and you got a clean tire and wheel this stuff would be great man for people that's going off-roading um, going hunting, hitting the trails, and your wheels are always dirty. Spray it on, rinse it off, you're good to go. But as you've seen, 
very dirty tire and wheel looks pretty dang clean right now all right so after talking to my buddy he said to go back factory parts okay this is going to be factory cam mds lifters um while he's in here he do he does new solenoids and since the heads are coming off he puts in new valve seals and springs um, basically cleaning up the heads and making them good to go since they're already off um, now in factory parts if you do what he does you're going to be a close to two grand in just the parts to fix this failure um, labor wise most dealerships will quote you close to twenty five to three thousand um, dollars if not a little more in labor to fix this issue um, he's normally charging people around fifteen hundred bucks to do this and again like i said this is a it's a suck situation it's sad that this happens so many times on the hemis but it's not the end of the world it can be fixed and it can be done it's just a matter of money time and having to deal with it like i said it does suck but that's what's going on with some of these six fours when they're getting over a hundred thousand miles it seems like they are having the lifter failures just like the five sevens so for those that's been asking if they had the issues well here's your answer he's done five or six of them within the last month or two and they are starting to roll in here left and right so yes they are having the problem unfortunately other than that guys hope the video helps you out i don't want to scare you guys you know i love the hemi there you go hemi sweatshirt on and i'll have nothing but a hemi just trying to let you guys be aware of what's going on what to expect if you get into a dodge ram or a hemi um, very reliable vehicles but this is one problem that they have just like the ls world the ls vehicles they have the same problem with lifters and cams they're going out like crazy and it's just part of what's being built today so one day they'll resolve it hopefully but as always stay safe out there guys don't forget hit that subscribe button and we'll see you guys on the next one peace